Hello, dear students. Uh, hello, my dear students. Uh, level KG3, Hassan and Zahra. How are you? Hope you're fine. Uh, today, we are going to start with a new alphabetical letter in the Arabic language, which is uh, letter A. The letter that we are going to tackle today is letter A. We call it in Arabic Ain. It's like the I. Ain. And it's, uh, it sounds A. It sounds like A. Let's start, guys. So, the student should be able to what? To يتعرف على حرف العين بأشكاله وأصواته المختلفة. This means that you are going to know or to get to know the letter A with all its forms and short sounds and long sounds. Then, write the letter A uh, in, a, in a proper way. يكتب حرف العين كتابة صحيحة ويقرأ كلمات وجملا تحوي حرف العين. And you're going to read words and uh, sentences that contain the letter A or that constitutes the letter A. So here we are going to talk to start with the forms of letter A. So, we are going to start. What are the forms of letter A? You guys are going to uh, get or recognize the following, the following pictures. And each picture has a word under it. Let's recognize the following pictures. Here, what do we see? We see a nest. Yeah? What does a nest mean in Arabic? Ush. So, our letter is Ain. It's called Ain, and it sounds A, okay? So this is a nest, okay? What do you mean by a nest? Ush, Ush. So what do you mean by a nest? Ush, Ush. This is Sha, Ush. Okay, where is the letter A in this word? This is the form of letter A. It's at the beginning, okay? Ta the letter A here is at the beginning. That's very, very good. Type. Is it at the begin? Uh, the form of letter A is at the beginning. So it's at the beginning of the word. So we must write it here. Okay? Now, where is the letter A here? Here we see a man working. What do you mean by working? Let's read it. Yeah, this is yeah, then A. Uh, then ma, then lu. Ya amalu. We have four short sounds. Where's the letter a here? Is it at the beginning, middle, or end? It's in the middle. So we draw we, like we are walking a straight line. Then we take it up like this. Then it takes down like this. Then like this. Okay. So this is the letter a in the middle. Okay. So we have osh is nest. Ya amalu is work. Now we see here a boy, he is hearing something. So what does it mean? Yes, ma, u. Yes, ma, u. So, is the letter A at the beginning, middle, or end? It's at the end. Okay. Now, what? how do we draw it? We walk, we take it all the way down. Okay. This is the letter A at the end. Now, this is the form of letter A at the end that is connected because it's preceded by ma. Yes, ma'u. So here means yes, ma'u. Work means ya'malu. Okay? So work means ya'malu. And here means yes, ma'u. Here, what do we see? Let's read this word. Ya, na, bu, a. So this is a yan, bu, a. Yalla. So this is a yan, Bua. So this is a yan bua. How do we read this word? How do we read this word again? Yan bua. Where is the letter a here? Is it at the beginning, middle, or end? Where do we find the form of letter a here? So it's at the end. Is it separated or connected? It is separated. Why it's separated? Because it's separated because it's preceded by letter wa. And letter wa, we know it has two forms. So this letter a should be separated from the letter before it because the letter a or the letter wa cannot have a hand or cannot be connected to the letter 
after it. But what do we mean by the word yanbuwa in English? This is a yanbuwa, okay? So it means fountain, okay? So yanbuwa is a fountain, okay? So yanbuwa is a fountain. So here we're talking by mistake. This is a the forms of letter A, okay? Now, so now we have four forms of letter A. We have one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end. We didn't draw the one at the end here. Let's try to draw it. Okay, so these are the four forms of letter A. One at the beginning of the word, one in the middle, واحد في أول الكلمة. One in the middle of the word, it has two hands, which is uh, uh, في وسط الكلمة. And two forms at the end of the word, one is separated and one is connected. This is separ the separated one and this is the connected one. And here, nest means عش, work means يعملوا. Here means yasma'u and fountain means yanbu'a. So how do we draw the letter A? These are the forms of letter A. The form of letter A at the beginning. First we draw an arch. How do we draw the letter A fi awwal al-kalima? We have an arch. This is an arch. Then we have the second part to make an inverted one. This is the one number one in Arabic. It has to be like this now, okay? So I invert it, okay? I invert it. Huh? Then I take it a little bit from here, from above the line. This is the letter A at the beginning. I try to make it because we are here. I'm, I'm going to repeat. First, we make an arch. Then we make an inverted let number one, okay? Huh? Then it should this part should be above the line a little bit. Now, how do we draw the letter A in the middle? You are walking, you are walking a straight line. Let's do it again. You are walking as if you're walking a straight line. Then you have to jump. Now you're going to jump. How do you jump? You jump all the way like this. Then then what do we do you overturn and you take it a little bit down then as if you're skating you take it a little bit down this is the letter a in the middle again you are walking now you are going to jump okay you're going to jump how do you jump like this now we are going to overturn down then you are skating like this, okay? Now, let's take the letter A. How do we draw this letter A? Because it's the same at the middle. This letter A, it's at the end, but it's connected. The same, we draw a small A. Here it's a straight line, as if we are walking a straight line. Now we are jumping, we are overturning, then we are skating, then, then hala, we make the form of letter like this okay this is the letter a at the end we have to notice here it has to make five points one two three four if we match these it makes like the letter a now the same the, the head and the stomach of this it should make a straight line here now how do we draw the main letter a? you know how do we draw this a at the beginning we have two parts so first we draw the arch then we make an inverted a okay now we are going to make an inverted a inverted number one this is inverted now we make c letter c as if you're drawing the letter c but make it please over here taller i draw it again you draw an arch you draw an arch. Let's draw it here. We draw an arch. Then we make an inverted number one like this. Okay. Then we draw like, sorry, this has to be a little bit thick. Okay. Then 
we draw the letter C. As if we draw, we're drawing the letter C in English. Okay, what do we notice? So first we draw, we've drawn an arch. Then we make an inverted number one. Then we draw the letter C. Here, it should be thick colored the thick of uh, thick and here it should be thin but notice here this is smaller than this and if you take the head of the letter a and the stomach it will make a straight line so these are the ways how do we draw the letter a guys at the beginning middle and the, at the end this is a small exercise now let's fill in the blanks with the suitable form of letter a as we said we have two we have four forms of letter a here we have a word usfur how do we how is the letter a at the beginning the awal al kalima letter a has one hand so how do we draw it if it's at the line we draw an arch again we make an inverted one and like this okay i'm trying make it a little bit above the line i'm trying my my best to do it now this is the letter a at the in the middle how do we draw it we are walking we are jumping we are overturning and then we are as if we are skating. This is the letter A in the middle. Now, this is the letter A at the end. We know the letter A at the end is either separated or connected. Okay, so this is a straight line. What do we do? We are walking. We are jumping. We are overturning. We are skating. Now, what do we do? We have only to, to draw it like the letter C. Okay, now notice this is the letter A at the end. Here we have the letter A that is separated. How do we draw it, guys? We draw a, a, we draw a like this. Then we make an inverted, then we make like the letter C. Okay, so these are how do we fill in the blanks with the tutable form of letter? Now, let's read these words. We are going to now start reading words. Here we have a. Yes, this is a. Then la, then ma. So here we see a flag. Okay, this is one flag. One flag. Okay, type flag. What does flag mean in Arabic and how do we read it? This is a la mun. A la mun. A la mun. Now, so let's, let's discover what this is. This is a short sound of letter a. Let's repeat the form and the short sound. First, we draw a cause, an arch. Okay. And then we draw an inverted one. And we take it all the way down. But what did I put above it? Fatha. So this is a la mun. Let's see home. Here we see a boy working. We have... Ya, ya ma lu, ya ma lu, which means work. Okay. Now, what do we do here? We, this is the letter a. Okay. We are walking. Then we will jump like this. Then we will overturn like this, and as if we're skating. We put above it sukun. Okay, guys. So we have alamun is a flag. Ya ma lu is work. What do we have now? Grape. What do you mean by grape? This is i. I na. This is the letter na. Bon. Bon. Ina bon. Ina bon. So now we have i. I with kasra. Okay. Now we see many flags here. So one flag is alam. Many flags is what? A. Ah, la long sound. Ah, la mon. Ah, la mon. So this is the letter A here. It's also uh, we draw a arch. We take it down, and then we have ah with sukun. So by here we read words, and we read four words, and we discovered what are the short sounds of letter. The short sounds of letter A. R, A, U, A with Fatha, U with Dhamma, I with Kasra, and A. Let's read these words. Let's read these words. Here we see an ostrich. Ostrich. Let's see what do you mean by ostrich. 
Na, this is na, this is a. Na, -a I'm moving up. Na, -a ma, ton. Na, -a ma, ton. Na, -a ma, ton, which means an ostrich. Here, where is the long sound in this word? Here is the long sound, okay? How do we draw it? We are walking, we are jumping, we are overturning, and then we are skating like this, and we add a. Now here, oud. Here, oud. So here, oud. Again, oud. So again, oud. It means oud in English also, okay? Oud. So, oud, okay? In English, it's oud. So, ooh, I'm moving to the front. Oud, which means oud, okay? So, we have na'amatun, oud. In English, it's oud. This is an ostrich, okay? Let's see this word and where is the long sound here. Here, the, here is the letter a, okay? And it's, uh, it's, it comes after it, yeah. What does it become? It's down. Clear? It's. So it's. Okay, this is the what do you see in the picture? What's this in English? This is a grazer. Okay, the grazer. Okay, the, and because here there is a sheep. Okay, the grazer. What does the grazer mean in Arabic? Here, this a uh, cannot be pronounced. Okay. So we, and here we have la, because we have shadda here, these should be cancelled. Ra'i, we have to stress, we have shadda here. Ra'i, ra'i, okay? Ra'i, so now the long sounds of letter a are the following. A, u, Okay, now let's read the sentence. Here we see a nice ostrich, a nice, a beautiful ostrich. Now, how do we read this sentence? Let's read it. Qu. We've taken the letter Qu. Qurba. Qurba. What do you mean by Qurba? Near. Okay? Near. So, Qurba means near. Near who? Amiron. A name of a boy. Qurba Amiron. Near Amir. Na Amaton. We've taken Na Amaton, which is an ostrich. Na Amaton. This is Ja. Then ma plus ya, mi jami la ton. So, qurba amirun, naamatun, jamila. Here we have to stop because we have a point. So, near amir, a nice ostrich. Ostrich is naama, and jamila is what? And jamila is what, guys? It is nice or beautiful. So guys, these are the long sounds of letter A. We have A, U, I, and this is the other form of I. Okay? By this, we finished our lesson. What I want from you guys is to watch this lecture PowerPoint video. It's very important for this lesson. And then do the worksheet, please, that is required for this lesson. 
uh, that's required for this lesson um, and then uh, after we do the worksheet we're going to have an online quiz in this lesson okay so please 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 watch this important video in order to be able to do the worksheet that is uploaded on the Google Drive